Lack of access to information is not only characterized by no connection to internet, but also lacking in terms of books and places where these books can be found. Madam Gaingo says topical issues such as prostate and cervical cancer and the unavailability of information on prevention and treatment contribute to late diagnosis and related deaths. She believes this is the type of material that should be stored at all libraries. Gaingos, who recently returned from Stop Cervical, Breast and Prostate Cancer in Africa Conference in Kenya, urged fellow women to take the lead in the fight against cancer with information at their disposal. So I hope all of you speak to your daughters um, as early as you can, that you examine your own breasts. And mind you, examine your husband's breasts as well. So information is powerful. With African countries aiming to make a footprint in science and technology fields, libraries are serving as repository houses that young intellectuals and scholars can make use of for their writings on those subjects. Ghanaian Second Lady Matilda Amisa Arthur says the International Library Association therefore drafted a document for the African library community and help change the perceptions associated with libraries. We want to tell the world that with emerging trends, especially the advent of computers, the world has changed. In Namibia, accessible libraries are located mostly in towns with people from rural areas relying only on school libraries. Basic Education, Arts and Culture Minister says this will be something of the past soon. The International Library Association was established to facilitate the accessibility of libraries and information. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.